Hello, my name is Nathan and you're watching the Unlocking Data in SCM YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how you can incorporate a carbon footprint analysis into a distribution network design study, right after this. So network design studies usually involve analyzing a strategic balance between cost and service. But for those who are sustainability minded, you can also include a carbon footprint analysis to compare the estimated footprint across scenarios. Transportation related carbon emissions can be pretty quickly estimated using shipment weights, estimated shipment distance, and the modes. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So if we look at this dashboard, we have a few different scenarios of our network design study. So I'm going to go to the baseline scenario. So for the baseline, as you can see in the map here, there are two distribution facilities one in the LA area and one in the Atlanta area. And for that scenario, the total network cost based on the modeling results uh, is 30.5 million. And the total carbon emissions is about 550,000. But if we change to a center of gravity scenario with one facility, that facility is placed in Denver, Colorado, and that's going to reduce the distribution costs because there's fewer facilities, um, but it's going to slightly increase the transportation cost. And so the total cost of that scenario is about 27 million and the total carbon emissions of the scenario will go up because the average distance to the customers has increased since we only have one facility instead of two facilities. But if we go to the center of gravity two scenario, this is kind of like the optimal two facility scenario since these two facility locations were selected based on the locations that minimize distance to the customers. The facilities in this scenario are placed in Chicago and the Seattle area. And the total cost for the scenario is 28.5 million. And the total carbon emissions is about 520,000. If we place three facilities optimally, uh, we keep the Seattle and the Chicago facilities and then we place one more facility in Denver. And the total cost of this scenario is up to 31.1 million, but the carbon emissions is down to 380,000 or 379,000. So if we compare across all scenarios, you can see that there's not always an obvious relationship between the scenario cost and the scenario carbon emissions. So the main takeaway from this is that for those who are sustainability minded, it might be worthwhile to analyze carbon footprint before you set up a distribution network. If that's going to be one of your main considerations for how you design your network. So in summary that is how you can incorporate a carbon footprint analysis into a distribution network design study. I'm going to include a link to this dashboard below. So if you want, you can go down there, click on it and explore this dashboard. But before you leave today, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions about this dashboard or any question related to logistics modeling or supply chain data visualization, make sure to throw that down in the comments 
and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Goodbye for now.